Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials, my name is Alex and today I'm gonna show you how to create quickly and easily this infographic template in Gravity Designer. So let's start with a new document, Alt N or Option N on your Mac. I'm gonna size this document with 1500 to 1200 pixels, click create. And first of all, let's cover this document with the rectangle. It's gonna define our background. I'm gonna apply the gradient, default liner gradient, and then navigate to my swatch. I have this brilliant uh, color, almost white, almost white on the top left. Basically, it's uh, F, 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 C. And for the last, on the top right, uh, on the bottom right, I have three F, F, 5D F 3F 5D F guys let's lock this background on our layer clicking on this padlock icon and start with the ellipse tool click E and we need to hold shift hold alt and draw an ellipse and this ellipse should be 332 pixels in size so size it properly if you need, go to transform panel and resize it. Don't forget to click this link to constrain the proportion to keep the ratio. So navigate to the fill, select the fill, click on the trash can to remove the fill, apply the border. Make a couple of duplicates, but, but with the transform tool. So go to the transform tool, clicking on this icon. On the transform menu here, Set the move value in the X position to 332 pixels and set the number of copies to 2. Click apply to produce 3 duplicates and they should be tangent. So they are 3 circles in a row. Now with the first circle we need to navigate to the appearance and we have these two uh, values of uh, angles. With these values you can slice your circle and we're gonna do this now with the first circle, we're gonna slice it on 90 degrees. So place 90, type now 90 is the first field, then navigate and open the shape, select this. Then with the second circle selected, go to the angles and type 0 in the first field. Sorry, it's the second field, of course in the second field. Apply it, then go and open the path. And with the last circle, we need to set the 0 to the left field and then go and open the circle, like so. Last but not least, don't forget, we need to rotate the circle, holding shift key to rotate, to lock the angle at 15%. So, uh, they should create a seamless line. Now select all of the sectors, go to the borders and set the borders weight value to 60 pixels. Click OK. Now go to the advanced stroke settings and we're gonna reduce this overlapping uh, parts. So in order to do this, go to the advanced stroke settings and then Select this bot endings. So the left most parameter should be active. Very nice, guys. Now we need to create another circle. So with the ellipse tool selected, hold Shift, hold Alt, or Option on your Mac and create another ellipse that has a size of 292 pixels. Brilliant. For this ellipse, navigate to the fill and then apply the gradient. I have this gradient for this ellipse. Direction should be top left to bottom right. And on the top, we should have a light color. F, 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 F. Basically white. To the bottom right color, we should have E A E A E A. Nice. Let's make a duplicate of this ellipse with Ctrl Shift D, Command Shift D on your Mac. 
then go to the modify path expanded shrink. In this field, we need to set value to negative 4 pixels and apply to make this duplicate smaller. Now go to the field again and click on this icon to change the direction. It's basically a reverse gradient. Very nice. Now select them both. Ctrl G or Command G to make a group. I have a group of this circle. With this group selected, hold Alt, hold Shift or Option and Shift on your Mac and drag to fill the negative space of your line. Then drag again and fill the, the negative space of your line. Basically, Gravity Designer would help you with this transformation. Now when we set up our circles, our plates, you need to select these guys, these three sectors and navigate to the modify path join path or Ctrl J command J on your Mac. It creates from these three paths one single whole shape. It's join all paths end to end. Okay? And now we are ready to apply our gradient. So go to the angular gradient, here fourth icon, and apply this gradient. So at the position of around 40%, probably 45%, the value of your color should be BA377I71. BA377I. 7 1, I'm sorry. Uh, then at the position of 70%, your color should be F67I33. 33. At the position of 85 to 90%, your color should be F2447B. Click OK. Now, keeping this brilliant path selected, this wavy path selected. Go to the inner shadow and apply a shadow with a opacity around the 35%. First of all, then blur leave it to 5, uh, x to 0, y. Place the cursor to y position and type 5. Ok, we have a value of 5 at the top. Now add an inner shadow again. This time we need to apply negative 5 in the Y position and opacity decrease the opacity to around 20%. Brilliant, guys. Now let's apply the drop shadow to these plates. Keep them all selected, go to the drop shadow, apply the drop shadow, then increase the Y position to push it to the bottom to around 10%, then push it a bit to the right because we have a direction of our color from top left, so we need to push our shadow to the right a bit, like so, and then of course, of course increase the blur value a bit and decrease the opacity to around less than 50. You can play with this value, I just type 45% and will be happy with this value. So guys, basically this is the whole process of creation this infographic. The last is to go to the and place two guides here on this place on the plates. First guide is reserved for our icon. Denote the middle of the icon, go to the libraries type business in the field, set the business icons, your set should be coherent, try to, if you work with the solid colors, try to set only solid colors, black and white, for example, icons, okay, 
let's go here if you walk with the outlines you should probably grab these icons okay so with this icon selected this is all kind of use icon for personal, for client use in Graphic Designer, so you can do uh, with this icon wherever you want. Resize it properly, so it's roughly in the middle of this icon. Then go to the second one, grab the fill airdropper and drop the needed color from your path. Then go here, here we need to Apply the two-step process. First select the main coin and then select the second coin like so. Go to the text, apply the text and voila, we have our awesome infographics and graphic designer. And if you feel lazy, you can go to the tutorials.net and download this infographic for free. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you do, give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to join Gravit Designer Tutorials Group. I'm gonna release both written and video tutorials every week. So guys, it's definitely worth to check Gravit Designer Tutorials Group and Gravit Designer User Group. Thank you for watching, have a nice day.